All right, some big news from Karnataka. Sidramaya government now defends its decision of scrapping the national education policy in Karnataka. Education Minister Madhu Bangarappa speaks to India today, says it was part of the Congress manifesto and that the government is only delivering their promise. Bangarappa has said that the committee will be set up to figure out a state education policy and NEET, uh, NEP, beg your pardon, will no more be uh, part of the syllabus this year on. It will be from the uh, upcoming academic year. The syllabus will be changed, NEP will be scrapped. Madhu Bangarappa, Education Minister, speaks to India today. Listen in. This was a part of our program in our manifesto. So two, three meetings have been already done. Now we are going uh, for a better committee, which uh, uh, Honorable CM is personally looking at. Basically, want to have our own uh, 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 you know, state education policy <clears throat> so that in the interest of children, uh, the subjects or the matters what have been taught should not be controlled on a vindictive basis or whatever it is. That's what we feel. There is nothing else, uh, no anti-saffronizing, saffronizing, anti-Congress, pro-Congress, nothing like that. It is going to be pro-students, pro-students, and it has to be pro-education only. All right, let me cut across to Nagarjun Dwarkana joining us live for more on that. Nagarjun, give us more on the NEP that was introduced by the Basuraj Bombay government uh, in 2021, and it was Congress that pro had already promised if they come to power, they're going to scrap NEP. And as promised, the Chief Minister Sidramaya has announced that the following academic year will not have NEP any longer. Uh, and they've, of course, been battling a lot of questions. Tell us the, the challenges that they may face at this point. Well, Nabila, uh, it's already been two years since NEP was put in place in Karnataka. Karnataka was the first state and a BJP ruled state to come into NEP, to bring in NEP. Now, the Congress government here is saying that from next year on, there will be no NAP. A state education policy will be put in place. A committee formed by next week. Uh, academicians will be in the committee. The CM will, is likely to announce. And NAP will also be removed. And next year on, there will be textbook revision also. A complete overhaul will be done by the Congress government. They feel that a uh, lot of vindictiveness was done through the BJP government in the last four years. Unnecessary textbooks, uh, changes were done. And uh, stories were removed. Chapters were removed. And... NEP was brought into place without uh, without knowing the pros and cons of that such policies. They're going back to what was done from 2013 to 2018. A state education policy newly will be launched from next year on because by now, uh, academic year already had begun, so they could not meddle with the education policy right away. But they're saying that we are firm on a manifesto, a promise that NEP was will be abolished and a SCP, state education policy, will be brought into place. But former CM Bommoy has called it a crime and a criminal activity on the Congress government already. Well, you know, uh, Nagarjun, what the Congress says is many students, parents are have opposed NEP. They claim that students have been complaining that NEP does, is, is against the educational system, uh, does not have a lot of history that uh, that is that that has gone by that has been very strategically omitted uh, a lot of changes that is not in line with the indian constitution this is what the congress uh, blames the bjp for uh, give us more on the bjp's response to this well bjp is saying that nep talks about how local emphasis is given how the mother tongue needs to be used it's a three language policy people in karnataka can choose kannada as the language tamil tamil nadu can be can be chosen as tamil and, uh, and the other states can choose their native language. A student in each state can pick his own language if he wants to. If I want to study English, Hindi and other, uh, for example, say Urdu or a French, it completely depends on the child and the child's family and the parents. So why uh, uh, hate such a policy which gives more freedom and more emphasis on local language is what the BJP is saying. It was done as a holistic uh, view, kept in holistic view from the uh, central government and now Karnataka successfully executed it for the last two years and now the Congress government is going back on policies which was quite forward is what the BJP is saying. The former Chief Minister Basavraj Bumai went on to release a statement saying it's a crime of the Congress government playing with the children's future and removing the love and respect for now local languages because in NEP a person could study or a child could study in Canada as well, pick up Canada as a language. Uh, and that's what the emphasis was on. But right now, we'll have to wait and watch what kind of policies will the government bring in. The state education policy will keep it a three-language or a two-language. All depends on the new committee that will be formed by the Chief Minister of Karnataka.
All right, it will be uh, interesting to see uh, what happens and the kind of resistance that the BJP will put up. But in 2021, NEP was introduced in Karnataka by the BJP government, the first states, one of the first in the country to introduce NEP, and now the Congress government has scrapped it. Thank you, Nagarjun, for joining us on that. In fact, this is a promise to scrap the NEP in the manifesto is what the Congress says. They'd already decided that uh, if they come to... In fact, that, that was a promise, the poll promise that the Congress had made if they come to power, that they will scrap NEP. So as per NEP, three-year undergraduate degree programs will be extended to four years as honours degree. That was one of the provisions. Uh, in fact, the previous minister of the BJP, Sudhakar, has also, had also directed the board of studies in all uni state, university to, uh, state universities to frame syllabus only until fifth and sixth semesters in an effort to scrap the four-year honours degree. As per NEP now, they are going to... All right, I'm going to quickly cut across to Anagha Keshav, who brings us the former chief minister, Basraj Bombay, his reaction on the NEP being scrapped by Congress.